Welcome Exiles to my first ever Path of Exile build guide. I am your host, Morphlight. Today we'll take a look into my solo self-found Hierophant Freezing Pulse slash Ice Spear Totem build. For people that want to try out the Totem playstyle or want to have a good boss killer, this video is for you. I've got super busy in the past couple of weeks due to IRL stuff and also my new job, so this video got a bit delayed. But I wanted to give you guys my build in more details, so now is the time for me to share it with you. I'll try a different format to show my gear and my gems in the upcoming section. So let me know in the comments below if this format is good, bad or decent and also give me some ideas on how to improve my process of explaining my builds. This build guide is designed for exiles who want to explore the power of Totem without breaking the bank or leaving SSF. Before we dive into my gear, let's talk about the Totem playstyle and how this build works. For this build to work we need to use a spell skill gem like Freezing Pulse combined with Spell Totem support. Let me show you how this interaction works. As you can see when we link a spell skill with a gem support, Spell Totem, we no longer cast the skill, but our totems do it for us. This unlocks the Totem playstyle. Playing Totem is so fun and enjoyable, but it has its downside as well. For starters, this build functions really good with the Soul Mantle unique body armor. Grants us the Spell Totem support gem and allows us to run more support gems in our setup, but it has a downside. It inflicts a random hex on you when your totem dies. To counter this effect, we need to reduce the effect of curses on us, and to do that, we have a couple of things we can do. The easiest way, and the one I went for, is using the Kigazaru Topaz Ring that has a mod that gives 60% reduced effect of curses on you. This combined with Imbued Catalyst can boost the effect up to 72% reduced effect of curses on you. So, all that is left now is to get another 28% from somewhere and we are good to go. Some ways to get the remaining 28% is Pantheon, Soul of Yogul, 30% reduced effect of curses on you. With this current leak, you can use the Tattoo of the Hinegora Death Warden, 6% reduced effect of curses on you per tattoo, so we need 5 of these to reach 30%. And then we will have a 2% overcap. Third way, crafting the mod on a cobalt jewel that gives reduced effect of curses on you. Allocating some 3 passive nodes like Asylum that grants reduced effect of curses on you. By using any of the above method, we can effectively reduce our curses by 100%, and so the Soul Mandal downside is neglected. Let's check out some pros and cons for this build based on my experience playing totems. For the pros, good single target and AoE, decent clear speed, safe playstyle, is in budget gear, SSF viable, millions of DPS on the high end. Perfect leak starter build. I went with Arma Brand for leveling. We'll touch on that later. And for the cons, some players don't like the totem play style. Not a tanky build, but with digen damage. Can have a bit too many buttons. And unique dependent. Soul Mandol, Hit Shiver. And for the high end gear, the Annihilating Light, Quarter Staff, and Cowers Legacy for more damage. Now that we cover our first section of this build, let's have a look on what my gear looks like and what gems I use to toggle the endgame in Path of Exile Trials of the Ancestors League. 